What up there guys, this is Jagged82 and uh, this is a video about remakes. Do you like remakes? Well, to me, remakes are, you know, it's a, it's a give and take kind of thing when you deal with remakes. Um, I kind of want to do a video about this for a minute because... Um, you know, I've seen a couple of remakes. Not all of them were were bad. Some of them were pretty decent. But I basically wanted to do this video because I was looking at the uh, box office uh, release of Total Recall. Now, Total Recall is the remake of the 1990 uh, sci-fi film, which starred Arnold Schwarzenegger and a uh, great movie. Uh, I enjoyed the original Total Recall. I haven't actually seen the remake, so I'm not going to too much put damps on it, but uh, it opened not in number one, the number one spot. It did, to me, I consider it fairly decent. It made $22 million, uh, compared to the original, which made $25 million on its opening weekend. Uh, it stars, uh, the main star is Colin Farrell. Uh... Colin Farrell, uh, he must be on a remake thing because he also was in the remake of Fright Night, too. And uh, I'm guessing, I don't know if it's the Colin Farrell remake bug <laughs> that they don't want him to do, but it looks like people are getting sick and tired of seeing remakes. And not to point to the fact that when you remake a movie, they want to add, like, case in point, in, when I was looking at some of the comments, about Total Recall, the remake of Total Recall. Uh, I was on Yahoo, and it was a bunch of people t talking about the fact that it wasn't the fact of the visuals. It's cool that they put the visuals in CGI and all that stuff, but it was the fact that there was no real story. There was no real solid base uh, for you to really want to go see the movie. And I kind of would, would, would say that you can actually tell that the way they do remakes now it's incredible I was just watching a video of well uh, watching a video on uh, the TV uh, on CNN which was uh, talking about the top five remakes I did not know most of these movies were re remakes until I realized uh, it after seeing this first of all follow the father of the bride which uh, stars uh, Steve Martin I did not know it was a remake of a movie that came back came out in the 1950s uh, which starred uh, Elizabeth Taylor. And, uh, yeah, it was a remake. And, you know, they were talking about remakes that, that did it better or did the originals and this and that. And they were also talking about Willy Wonka. Personally, I've never seen Charlie and the Ch Chocolate Factory. I've seen bits and pieces of it. I've never actually sat back and watched the whole movie. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory? I've seen that, and I think that's an excellent movie. I love Gene Wilder's character in that movie. And you know it's just a funny ass movie. I like I like the uh, Willy Wonka the original. It came out in 1971. Now here we go with with, with what many people were think. Do you like remakes? Once again, I like remakes if they're done okay. They're done to the point. Because case in point, I liked Halloween. Halloween to me wasn't a remake. Rob Zombie did his own twist in that. It 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 still had the essence of of Michael Myers and all that in it. But it wasn't Halloween, the original Halloween. It wasn't John Carpenter's Halloween. So that's a movie that I can go for. It, 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 to me, it was it was it was okay. Now, are there too many remakes coming out? Of course, I will agree. I've seen uh, the list. They're remaking Carrie. First of all, now if you remember a couple of years back, they had Carrie two, the the uh, Carrie two movie, The Rage. Which came out, and I've seen that movie. To me, it's a, I think it's an okay movie. Uh, a sequel that comes out roughly almost 20 years after the original, uh, you know, the dichotomy. It's kind of like Psycho. You know, the first Psycho came out in the 60s, then uh, Psycho 2 comes out of nowhere uh, in the 1980s. So it kind of it kind of is like that in a sense, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, but they're remaking Carrie. Do I think this is going to be good or bad? Eh, I don't know. They're remaking RoboCop. Many fans are like, hey, whoa, ho, ho, ho. Because you got a bunch of people who are very nostalgic about movies that came out in that 
in that particular era. And I go wholly agree that I mean they're remaking Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, the script I guess it's it's going through a revis revi revision or something because it was you know Michael Bay was the head of to do this, and they're kind of because at first they were going to do this whole thing where they were aliens from another planet. And people were like, "Hey, what the fuck? What are you doing, man? Why can't why you can't stick to the original story of you know four turtles were in the sewer and some ooh shit got on them and they became cowabunga, you know? But uh, yeah, they're they're looking at revising that uh, RoboCop that are alive. You're coming with me. It's being uh, ready to be remade with RoboCop." And, you know, I like the original RoboCop. And that's another thing many people look at, too. Is it is it anything to remake a movie when you look at what the original was able to do? Okay, so first of all, you have the original RoboCop, which starred Peter Weller. Great movie. Excellent. The story was well put together. The actors were, were perfect for the parts they were in. This RoboCop movie is going to be CGI that fuck down. It's going to be having a whole lot of special effects. It's already been a given. Um, it's going to be having, but is there going to be a strong story? Are you going to be able to really connect to the characters? Put it like that. Are you going to be able to feel for if it's if it's going to be a straight remake of RoboCop? Are you going to feel for the actor that's going to play Alex Murphy when he's in a scene where he's he's the the thugs and stuff? They've got him. They've got him cornered, and you know they shoot the shit out of him. Are you gonna feel for that actor that played the same character that was played nearly twenty plus years ago by Peter Willer? You know that's an up in the air thing. Are, are you gonna have that much investment in a remake? I mean, I said uh, I, I, I said to someone about the uh, there was a rumor about uh, a remake of Back to the Future where Justin Beaver would be playing Marty McFly. And I seen uh, Back to the Future the other day. Still love it. Don't see a reason why it should be remade. Uh, many people think it's a situation where the ho Hollywood, the money guys in Hollywood, are scratching for ideas to have newer movies come out. But it's the fact that those big major movie companies are not willing to throw the bucks out there to give them the money to do original movies that could probably be beneficial in a sense. So they say, fuck it, we're going to just remake shit. I mean, case in point, The Amazing Spider-Man, you're remaking a movie. Hell, when the last Spider-Man movie was there in order? 07, 08? Spider-Man 3? With uh, Tobey Maguire? So you reboot, you rebooting movies too. Okay, Father of the Bride was 41 years later. In 91, when they remade Father of the Bride with Steve Martin. Okay, now, many people say, well, it's, it's kind of successful. I mean, look at movies like uh, Footloose, which I have never seen the new version of Footloose, but I saw the original with Kevin Bacon. I thought that was a great one with uh, John Lithgow also. I thought that was a great movie. I, I thoroughly enjoyed Footloose. I mean, it's kind of like you do, you do, you don't, you don't. So many people will say, well, man, I like remakes. You know, it depends on what movie in particular that was being remade. Some movies that have been remade are pretty much movies on their own. They actually have the, the ability to stand up on their own. And then in, in that sense, you could pretty much say, what's the point of calling it a remake? Just call it a sequel. <laughs> or a prequel, how they do sometimes a prequel. Like uh, The Exorcist is the beginning. Or Chainsaw Massacre at the beginning. Or, uh, it's always the beginning. Before it actually went down the beginning. But, yeah. There's a lot of shit that gets remade. A lot of shit that bums that gets, get, that, that gets remade. Uh, here's a movie that could be remade. Let's see how this could turn out now. It didn't do too good at the box office back then, but it might do good now. Howard the Duck. How about that? We need, we, we need to remake, we need to get a petition signed to remake Howard the Duck. Howard the Duck. Yeah! But yeah, remakes. 
dum 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 dum. But yeah, this is Jugget82 signing off.